Taco Cabana style. Woo! That's right. We are actually live at Taco, Taco Cabana, Cabana, which is the coolest thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> so excited to be here celebrating Taco Cabana's 40th birthday. birthday. And if you don't know what Taco Cabana is, because you're from out of state or That's out right. of the country, it is a staple here in Texas. It is a Tex-Mex cuisine restaurant so that you good. cannot live without. So good. That's all I got to tell you. Oh, You're missing out if you don't get to have Talk to have about, my, your what's your favorite Taco Cabana item? Do you have a favorite the item? The bean and cheese. The bean yeah. and cheese. Oh, the girl, yeah. I think I'm still all about that queso life. Queso? I love well, I do believe Taco queso. Taco Cabana queso. Super I mean, good. No. So yes, we're so excited. If we're gonna tell, we're not gonna tell you where we're at. Yes, that's right. Because we have a special contest for you to guess mm -hmm. at which Taco Cabana location we are at. That's right correct. Now. So if you see this lovely gift basket we have here, there are flags in here and koozies and this awesome Taco Cabana shirt. There's a watch in here, Sam. Taco Cabana watch. You gotta watch, Mina. You gotta watch to win the watch, and then you gotta comment <laughs> and you gotta like. There's gift cards in here as well. So in order to win this basket, though, you guys, the first person person to comment below you know, which Taco Cabana we're at is going to win. And Sam, how do they find out? How do they know where we're at? Yes, yeah, so go to our Instagram right now. Follow us, Bean Cheese Met, on Instagram. Whoop, and follow whoop. the stories, because the stories are going to give you clues as That's to where right. we are at. First person to comment the correct location of which Taco Cabana we're at here in San Antonio win, well, win. win. basket. And trust me, you want this basket. You want a basket. You okay. want to win the basket. And, and what else we got tonight? <laughs> so we're also giving away Houston Texan tickets, tickets for this <laughs> Sunday's game. So if you guys want to win these tickets, two tickets and a parking pass, you know, I hate yeah, dealing with parking. The parking. So look, we thought about you guys. We got a parking <laughs> pass, so no complaints. Um, but if you guys want to win, you have to hashtag Texan for the win. Texans for the win to win the tickets. Hashtag and we are going to actually the announce win. the winner tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, <laughs> both winners will be announced. So stay tuned on all of our social media channels because we will be posting that. That's right. And we got a lot more coming up. And so in case you've never seen Bean and Cheese Man before, I'm Samantha Najera. I'm Mina Duran. And we are Bean and Cheese Man. We're two chingonas locas and we just keep it real, y'all. That's all That's we right. do. We just have fun doing it. And we're it's a privilege to be here at Taco Cabana tonight because mm -hmm. we're celebrating their 40th birthday. Their 40th Birthday. And those of you that are from out of state or out of the country watching, next time you come to San Antonio, you gotta come to Taco, Taco Cabana, Cabana. Yes. and get it on. And it's not, they like never close. They're like open 24 <laughs> hours. So you, you can't be like, one. exactly. But you can't be like, oh, it's 3 a.m. I can't. You can totally find a Taco Cabana open any time of the day. Yeah. And what's really cool too is a lot of people don't even know how Taco Cabana started. And honestly, I. It's a cool story. And yeah. I didn't know the story either. Well, so I, I knew felt, a little bit. But what did you know, girl? I don't know anything. Well, all I knew was that the original location was on Hildebrand and San Pedro. Whoop, whoop. Um, it's my and then baby. it was just like somebody had an idea for something. That's all I really know. It was like, oh, somebody came up, but it wasn't like this whole family history right. restaurant. Right. So kind of apparently, uh, Felix Staling, who is the owner, he had a bar in San Antonio called the Crystal Pistol. The Crystal yes. Pistol. Yes. And since like, and so what he did is he noticed that people were like hungry after leaving the bar, and so he started like serving up tacos, which is such a smart idea because who doesn't want so like freaking drunk tacos, food, like drunk people food, pretty much like <laughs> exactly. food. Like, Mina, yes. you get us some tacos. This was it. Get me some tacos. Get on that. And there you go. And so on September 21st, <laughs> 40 years, years ago, ago, the first Taco Cabana on San Pedro in Hildebrand came to be. And I just think that's super awesome. Amazing. And the other thing that I think is really cool is they had burros as pets. Girl, I Back want me then. a burro. I need me a donkey. I would you love to have a dog. better my life would be right now if I had a burro for a pet? Speaking of pets, Frankie, you out the house oh. real quick. Because oh, man. my dog bit my daughter the other day. Anybody want a dog? Break, hashtag Frankie, Frankie needs a home. Hashtag that right now. Frankie needs a home and get me a burro. Real He's quick. 11 years old and he kind of bites, but maybe somebody will want him. She'll hashtag change. Boy bye. Will you change? Like, what if they take Frankie and give you a burro? I'd be happy. You'd be happy. What's really cool, too, is so apparently they had two burros, <laughs> one named Felix and one named Bean and Cheese. Felix and Bean and Cheese. And they used to go out to like their openings of their restaurant. Oh, Man. I would have been to like every opening back in the day that is so for like. Awesome. Awesome. Just because of that. So, anyways, we're so happy to celebrate that Taco Cabana is turning 40 years old. And a few weeks ago, Samantha, she always said that she wanted to be Oprah. Mexican Sam, why don't Oprah. you, why don't you tell dream. people what we did? We got to go around town in a hot pink limo oh, and delivered amazing. tacos to people. It was amazing. All over. I had, had a blast. We had 
too much fun. I'm talking like throwing tacos out the window kind <laughs> yeah. of fun. We did some legal stuff, but it's okay. It was we'll hilarious. We want to show you guys and share it with you right yeah. now. Yeah, so check out this video of our taco cabana on wheels. Bloop. Amazing pink limousine, just all decked out, handing out tacos. I couldn't even with that whole day. I could do that for the rest of my life. It was, I think that was a highlight for sure. Oh, for sure. And what's so cool is like Sam and I have these moments, and I know I had one when we were like doing, you know, doing this with Taco Cabana, where it's like this is like what we do. Is this, this is what we get to do. Myself. And that is so tacos. cool. Yeah. Yes. It was raining tacos that day. So thank yes. you so much to Our Lady of the Lake University. Yeah. Was it um, Nick's Home Health Care? Mm -hmm. Also, all the um, students at Sanitary SAC. College. <laughs> we just kind of, oh, and there was a couple of firefighters. And then, uh, shout out to all the people on the street that no like joke. let me randomly throw tacos in there. So, <laughs> again, that was just a blast. We had so much fun. And there's, there's, here's the thing. We had so much fun that day, but the party doesn't stop there. What okay. we're really excited about is this is Friday. This Friday's party, y'all. The Taco block party. Cabana has never had a party this big. That's They've right. put a lot of planning behind it, and it's this Friday night yep. at the original the location OG. off of Hildebrand in San Pedro, right there on the corner. They're going to have live music, drink specials, Everything. food, band, all that good stuff. You don't want to miss it. We're gonna, gonna be, be there, there. <laughs> from eight to nine. Yes, but there's an even better surprise. What are we gonna do while we're there, Nina? So we're gonna be handing out gift cards I'm making while it we're right. there. So if you want tacos, if you want drinks, if you want gift cards, come down and see us. So the event is from six to nine p.m. So again, go out there, whatever you want. If you want to come out and meet the Bean and Cheese Man girls, though, we'll be there at eight o'clock. Yes. So who knows? Maybe even earlier. Yeah, and this is, um, these drinks. I don't know if y'all have had their drinks here at Taco Cabana, it's but they are delicious. Better. See, that's what happens when you don't drink your drink. That's true. Okay. Necesitas really tomar. Quickly. We'll go back to the party in a second. This is the raspberry lemonade margarita. Oh, so and good. And they put sugar around the rim. Mm-hmm. So, Pink sugar. And you know, look. Sam's look, y'all. This Mira, is look dangerous it. because it's so good. It is. It's delicious. But Friday night. It's, it's better popping. than water. <laughs> we don't want to miss it. And we're going to post the link to the event on yes. this post later this evening. That's right. So make sure to bring out the whole family. It's come fun. on. And it's free. Come it is. On I know. It's free. You want to come out, hang out. And again, it's, we're going to be at 3310 San Pedro Avenue, the OG Taco Cabana in San Antonio. Yes. And I'm going to tell you a story about that Taco Cabana later on. Well, oh, we all got a Taco <laughs> Cabana story. You want to do ones from before the club or after the club? Right. We got both. We got to keep it PG. We got both. OK. Uh, those of you who are just tuning in, we are giving away some Houston Texan tickets. So if you want to win these, what do they have to hashtag, Samantha? Texans for the win. Texans hashtag for the win. That in the comments. And again, Texans for the win. First person right. to do that will win. And we have a huge Taco Cabana basket. That's right, our gift basket. With gift cards and lots of goodies. Mm -hmm. And you have to follow on Instagram, Bean Cheese Man. Uh -huh. And the first person to also comment on this video to where, where we're, we're at, at will win the gift basket. We ain't going to tell you right now, though. That's right. And you saw that gift basket earlier. There's a lot of good stuff in there. So you're going to want to win it. A lot, a lot. Not a little, little. Not a little, little. A lot, a lot. Okay. So I'm a little jealous. I'm going to go Aww, ahead and say it right jealous. now. Last week, Sam and I had the opportunity to meet Chef Connie Gutierrez, who is 
what a lot of people don't realize about Taco Cabana is there are very special people that That's make still this restaurant there. what it is. And so we had the opportunity to meet her last week. And Connie, she was one of the original founding chefs of Taco Cabana. And her story, one, is just amazing. But talk about a chingona. <laughs> Isn't she just amazing? You guys, this lady is an OG. Mm -hmm. She is la señora que se está en la cocina. Mm -hmm. Está cocinando las así? tortillas, así, mm -hmm. la salsa y todo. Uh -huh. Like for real, for real. And she started off like mopping floors at Taco Cabana, mm -hmm. which is crazy. But we fell in love with her. and. Thanks to the rain, I had a major <laughs> roof issue. I had I to know. replace my roof, and so Would Sam, you still go get a bucket. I like know. She literally had to go get a bucket. Oh, I literally <laughs> went. I had to get more than one bucket. We had like three buckets. It was ridiculous, and so unfortunately, I missed the segment with Samantha. But that's okay. Um, but I want to see what you guys did, and I'm really excited to show this because uh, I get. I haven't. I haven't seen it. You want to tell them we're gonna call it? We're gonna call it. Chile con Connie. Chile con Connie. And they put me to work, y'all. Check it out. Which is the best name ever. Thank you <laughs> to my amazing boyfriend for coming up with it. <laughs> All right, let's roll the video. <laughs> hey, everybody. We are here with Chef Connie, who is one of the original founding chefs of Taco Cabana. So I feel so honored to be in your presence. Thank you. How did you start with Taco Cabana? Ooh. 40 years ago. 40 years ago, yes man, like everybody else, wanted to work, find this place, and we started working. And so you started and in the kitchen? Yes, doing everything, no positions, no nothing. We just do whatever, you know, you have to do everything, everything. So you so have to wash dishes? Wash dishes, mom. sweep floors, mom, wash bathrooms, uh, making tacos on the line. Wow. Um, Frying stuff, making enchiladas, making salsas, uh, tortillas. Wow. We make the dough and start doing all the stuff from the scratch in those years. Wow. So we're everything doing so everything there. Mm -hmm. Wow. So yeah. you were there when they came up with all of the original recipes of yes, the tortillas, yes, the salsas. Yes. So tell yes. me, how did you? So she created the salsa fuego. You guys mm -hmm. may not know that, which is my favorite salsa here. Mm -hmm. How did that happen? Well, they happened, it was for us, actually. For the employees, when we're gonna go to break, uh, we do something special for us, you know, making a salsa, or a little cooking stuff, you know, and share on the table with the other friends or, or, or people, you know, that we go on a break. And uh, uh, so we do that salsa, and, and those years we have avocados fresh, nice, flavorful, everything. So we make the salsa, we open an avocado, and then we just smash them with the, with the salsa de fuego, which is a roasted jalapenos and a roasted uh, tomatoes. And it was beautiful, wonderful, wonderful. We we eat it just in tortillas like that. Just the salsa with tortillas oh, yes. so good. Yes, <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, tortillas. Uh, had tortillas from just made. In those years, we cook our tortillas on the comar. We, we... You used to roll them. Roll in the, the tortillas. Oh, cool. I don't know about that. Yes, we make them bolitas <laughs> by hand. No, no, not oh, like oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. That's corn. Oh. <laughs> the bolitas, you make, you from get the, the masa. Okay. Yes, and you make a round bolita, and then uh, uh, we just uh, roll it and then cook it on the grill. Awesome. So you've been so, here 40 years and you've mm -hmm. seen the company completely Oh yes, completely evolve. Yes. Into a chain. It's a chain franchise. Oh right? yes. Awesome. Yes, yes. So what do you enjoy the most about working for Taco Cabana? I cannot say one thing. <laughs> a lot of things. <laughs> no, I like everything. Aww. I can I cannot say I like this, you know. I like everything. You know the people, the food. I love eating. I love the tortillas. Me too. I love everything. Yes. So, what else? You don't you want know? to be here, right? Yes. The years pass and you don't even know uh, when or how, you know, just pass it and pass it. Yes. Awesome. Well, yes. will you show me how to do some of the recipes and maybe make some tacos? Yes. I, I've never worked in fast food before. I worked at a Peter Piper, but uh -oh. never really. Yeah. 
No, no, here it's a little different. We got too much stuff on the line and we making all kind of tacos. And so it's, it's, it's nice, it's nice. You have by everything of everything. So are, are, am I, are, you, are chismosas allowed to be in the kitchen? Ay, ay, ay. Si te, I'm a chismosa. Si te portas bien. Okay, I'm gonna try, reporting for duty. Yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, Chef Connie has me working today at Taco Cabana and we're going to be making some fajita tacos and I don't know what else you have planned, but I'm scared, but I can do this. I got this. Do you think I can do this? Yeah, you're going to do tacos. You're going to do like that, pero con ganas, no con... Con ganas. Is the half of the bread? I'm not doing it fine. Andale, andale, pues así. Like that? I think we're not going to have business anymore <laughs> with you. Look at that. Oh. I bleed gesso. <laughs> I be looking real crusty these days. Look at that. Bye. Don't forget to watch Bean and Cheese, man. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. I haven't worked that hard in a really long time. I had a great time here in Taco Cabana, and it was an honor to work with Chef Connie. Happy birthday, Taco Cabana. That lady told okay. me to work. I was gonna say, this was supposed to be just like a cooking segment. How the heck nope. did that happen? Well, see, what had happened was, I was trying to steal some tacos, and they were like, look, if you ain't got no money, get your, you know what? You gotta kitchen. work for it. But no, I had a blast with Chef Connie. Look, she's like a tia or an I abuelita that just wants to whoop on that booty. I'm like, get it right, it. girl, get it right. Can I tell them the story with Chef Connie when we met her? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to now. Okay, so when we met Chef Connie, we introduced ourselves or whatever, and Samantha had on a shirt that said Chingona. And so we were talking to her and letting, you know, telling her like, oh, we just pride ourselves on being Latina women, this and that. And then we were talking about this segment and what to do. And Sam said something like, maybe you can show us like how to like make tortillas or something. And, Chef, Con <laughs> and Chef Connie said, you don't know how to make tortillas? And she said, no. She's like, no quieres chingona. Sí. And that was it. I was sold. Es muy chingona, but she can't even cook in the kitchen. She called me out real quick. But she called her out. It was hilarious. Real, awesome. I know. I had a good time. And you know, it was really. I'm not surprised because I mean I knew Taco Cabana was a bomb, mm -hmm. but I was surprised on one how fresh everything is literally Girl, made that all day. The time. They get there that early to mm -hmm. cook everything, make the salsa fresh for mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. and then like from the tortillas to the fajitas. My thing was like, look, how come my stuff doesn't come out like this at home? I know. Like, the juicy chicken, uh, the beef, and just kind of was like, my stuff doesn't ever look like this. Like how? And then they managed to make it in fast. So like, fast, I know. So fast. So I was fast. Like, Damn, these people are bomb. Over uh, there. I'm but like it was a again. Lot of fun. It was a pleasure to work with Connie and that That's was so your cool. episode of Chile <laughs> con Connie. And you know what's funny too is what's really cool about Taco Cabana is they stick with their old school roots recipes, yeah. and their old school recipes but they also introduce new menu items yes. which is what I love because every now and then it's like you want to change it up yeah, right you, you want to try you like something else and yeah. so 
Right now, they have got some awesome new items that they have added to their menu. And my favorite are the duo tacos. So they're duo they're tacos. Duo tacos. You okay. get kind of tell me all like about two this for one. a special price. I made this one. You I can remember. get you can get shrimpies. You can get chicken. chicken you, you can, can get, get brisket. <laughs> you can get, get USDA it. choice what steak. You want, and I'm actually gonna bite one right now because I'm just curious as to. Okay, so let me tell you guys about this one. This one blew my mind. It's chicken fajitas, but it's mm. roasted jalapeno. Is it, am I right, Sam? Okay, roasted jalapeno, mm. and it's queso on top of that. Are you gonna try it? Nah, I'm good. This one is. I got so heartburn. Good. What? I got heartburn right now, and I'm eating this, drinking this. Too. I'm gonna dip it in my vodka raspberry <laughs> lemonade. No, but that's the kind of stuff that's like. Mm -hmm. just, but anyway, it's a taco duo, and supposedly if you get two, they make it like that so that mm -hmm. you get it for like one great price. All right, you know what? I'm gonna taste it. While I'm eating this taco, and who why don't you? one taco? Like, duh, we gotta buy two. You have you to have two. One. So, okay, let, right. me, let me blow your mind again real quick, okay? Now, mm. how many of y'all remember in La Cocina when oh, you were God. hungry, but they were like, hay comida en, uh, en la refri, or el, re, el refri. En el refri, and you're like, oh, tenemos no. weenies. Right, <laughs> tenemos weenies. Tenemos okay, weenies. You make whatever, because your family ain't about to take you nowhere to eat. Mm -hmm. You would make the crispy dog, the crispy right? Dog. With the wiener and the corn tortilla, you roll it up, you throw in some oil. That's, That's old school right there, okay? Well, let me tell you, Taco Cabana, I'm gonna grab it. Grab it. Ca Taco Cabana created. has introduced a pup in a poncho. Pup in a poncho. Kids meal. Y'all, check this out. Now so. my daughter can now share in the tradition, mm -hmm. but this is what makes it even better, which this is the bomb I had one yesterday. <laughs> it's not corn tortilla. It's not it's corn. It's fried flour tortilla and with they the hot dog. are and amazing. And the weenie, y'all. And so Mira, I, you know what I did with this? Egg. I dunked it. Ooh. Are you going to bite it? Is she going to eat it? No, you're going to bite it. Don't just I'm lick it. Good. I'm you good. licked it and then you dipped it again. Cochina. That's what you are. Mm -hmm. Not cochina. I was going to eat it. Now I can't bite the weenie. You know that I don't like icing, but I'll do the queso. <laughs> queso cake. I'm going to get you that for your birthday. But it's a pump and a pump. 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 <laughs> pump. <laughs> Pup in a poncho. In a poncho. And this isn't the only guys, kids I'm meal that they have. This is not the only kids meal that Taco Cabana has now. They got cheese quesadillas, enchiladas, you name it. So again, awesome food for the kiddos. But what about this stuff? Ooh. So. Did y'all know that Taco Cabana has cheesecake? I didn't even no, know that. No, girl, this ain't cheesecake though. Well, they have. This well, they is, do have cheesecake. But this though. is a key lime pie. Wait, this is a new thing. Mm -hmm. The key lime pie, but they do have these kind of things here, and they have the and sopapillas. You know what's funny is I did not know they had sopapillas, and I went to Taco Cabana and they forgot a taco or something of mine. And so the manager, so sweet, came out. I was like, oh, just because you waited so long for your taco, you know, here's some fresh sopapillas. Changed my world, girl. <laughs> I was yeah. like, okay, next time I'm gonna get sopapillas and no tacos. <laughs> well, and plus, like you know, if you're ever just craving something sweet, mm -hmm. my, like my mom's like, go get me a donut. My mom's always telling me, donuts. Go get me a donut. And you say, go get me a sopapilla. Yes. Or go get me a key lime pie. Mm, something sweet. And then and over then, here. Here we go. This is the one you share with the friends. That's right. We got the kickin', kickin grande nachos. <gasps> which are you gonna eat one of those? Nah. Girl, you know what? I'm gonna reach okay. over. You know what? I say this on camera because I'm embarrassed to eat on camera because I have issues. But after this, I'm gonna tear it up. Best believe. Look, this one gonna give a damn. That's a good nacho. I love it. The kickin' grande nachos mm. is another one. And you can come with your friends and you know taco cook. Okay, another <laughs> Taco Cabana has happy hour. Yeah, they guys. do. Mm -hmm. And this is the stuff that you just come, you know, when you be stressing after they work. Do. And if you don't, and if you don't want vodka, raspberry, lemonade, they have awesome margaritas. If you don't want a margarita, they have beer. If you don't want a beer, then just come out for the tea and sodas and tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, there's so many reasons to come eat at Taco yeah, Cabana. It's just one of those must-haves. So, so if you anyway. haven't been to Taco Cabana in a while, come on out to CC's. I mean, it's it's a staple. You can't miss it. I feel like I fell in love all over again, just like learning about the about history of Taco, Taco Cabana. Cabana. I've always been one of those people who really believe that people will like buy your story before they buy your product, and I love the story of Taco Cabana. For me, it just feels homey, and I'm all about it. So yeah, again, come check them out. That, but we all have that. Mm -hmm. Taco Cabana story. Exactly. If you're from South Texas, especially, you have that one, you know, that one, one location story. that you know, throws you back or whatever. Right. So I want to hear your story. Okay. And then I'm going to tell you mine. Okay. So, but before we yours. before we tell you guys our story, Taco Cabana is doing a really cool thing. They are giving away a year of Taco Cabana. Say what? I know. And what they want to know is what's your Taco Cabana story. And so we want you guys to comment below and hashtag. 
TC Talks. And tell us your story. So for mine, and this is a true story, the OG Taco Cabana on Hildebrand and San Pedro, um, every, so I went to Incarnate Word High School here in San Antonio. So my drive, or my parents' drive when they, you know, when I was first going, um, we would always go drive all the way down, down. Hildebrand. Okay. And so we would stop every morning without fail to get my two bean and cheese tacos, go through the drive through I'd get my tacos, get dropped off at Incarnate Word. And even when I started driving, I still kept doing it. Like it was something that every morning, like, oh. my high school days just weren't. You can't just like drive by, you gotta be like, oh. I know my high school days, <laughs> my mornings just were not complete without my that two taco. bean and cheese tacos. So even when I drive through there, um, some of you watching may know I lost my daddy last year. And so it was, it was just a thing I had with my dad and I had with my mom. And so Aww. for me, I always say that I have like this special connection with that taco cabana because it just it reminds me of my high school days yeah. which was a long time ago I so and where did those tacos go girl <laughs> girl you should have seen me back then i had tacos in places Some that shouldn't have work been on that. too bad tacos don't go to other places but you oh, know, know different story You're but anyway yeah what is what's your story do you guys have a taco cabana story that you want to share this is your chance to win taco cabana for a year Ooh, so hashtag tc40 Hashtag TC, TC Talks, Talks and tell us your story. We want to know. And go follow Taco Cabana. If you're not already following them on social media, Shame go on right you. now. Go right now. Do you it. go like them right now. <laughs> and you go follow them. I'm going to tell you my story. I okay, have, what's I have your too story? Many stories. Okay, the first story is that my dad is still Mexican old school and oh. he thinks that everything is overpriced. Okay? <laughs> that everybody in the world is screwing you over on the price. Como que 99 cents for Como a taco. Como que 99 cents for a taco. Como que dollar store. Okay, so. He would go and buy the beans and a dozen tortillas from Taco Cabana. Like, he wouldn't just buy the tacos. <laughs> Tenemos que hacer en la casa. Really? Because we have cheese. So we buy it's the fresh the same, beans Daddy. in the morning, the fresh tortillas in the morning, and he would make us the tacos at home for breakfast or whatever. Amazing. And then my second, and of course, you're like obsessed. You can't, you can't, the be it's not the same when you try to make your own bean and cheese at home. Not the same when you're trying to make anything at I home. I know. And then the second story I have is, okay, how many of you have this same story? <laughs> when you're broke as hell in high school, broke in and college, broke. and you have a dollar and 50 cents. And you don't want $2 maybe, or anything and you else. know anything else, but you got just enough for two tacos. That was my high school. Talk, really? Every high school lunch. It was called senior lunch, so you could go off campus. <laughs> and I, I love everyone would be all lunch. excited. I'd be like, yeah, um, where else am I going to go? Chick-fil-A? No. Hell no. Yeah. Two spins. Taco Cabana. Taco I gotta Cabana. get those two tacos. So that's my Taco Cabana story. I love it. So yeah. Taco Cabana has had our back since high school. But y'all, <laughs> it's almost 20 years yeah, ago. But like now that I think about it, where else would we go? I know. Like you can't go anywhere. I know you really can't, especially especially tacos. late night too. Yeah. And no, no, for no. the quality of food, also, it's just oh, it's so good. So again, you want Taco Cabana for a year? I can't see who wouldn't want Taco Cabana for a year. Dreams come true. Hashtag TC Talks and tell us your story because we want to know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, okay, moving on. We wanted to try something. We have no idea if this is going to work out, but we wanted to do some salsa taco Fun. art for you, for you guys. So we have, okay. I'm gonna reach out, some sour cream here. Tenemos guacamole. And tortillas. All right, Sam, why don't you tell people what we're going to do? We are going to do an interpretive art activity. That's right. And she's going to dunk her tortilla in, in some of this. We have pico here, too, if you want some pico. Oh, yeah, we can see. Look, the pico okay, so, is the, the So the idea sprinkles. is, what is it called? It's like the Rorschach test, right? You know where they like hold up something and it's like, do what see? do you see? If you see a butterfly, you're full of rainbows and sunshine. Give me it, yes. If you see a kitty cat, that means you're evil on the inside or something. I don't know. <laughs> a kitty cat. So we are going to see if we can create some so I'm going to look at yours, you look at mine, and we're going to see if we see anything. So let's try okay, this out. Okay, so we're going to dunk them. I see. Dunk. Like this. Da like these. Oh, I got a chunk of avocado. Oh, they like these. Mm, should I put some of this in here? Look, I'm just going to get it like this and sprinkle it. We're gonna make messes. Ugh. And then I'm gonna do like what these. Else? Let's get some greenies. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me smush it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if mine looks like anything yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. It just looks like. Oh, the people I'm stuck to the same thing. <laughs> Here, let me do a little. Okay. Wait, I need more. Here, I'm gonna. Oh my I'm God. gonna try to draw something in it. Oh my God. That is hilarious. Do what not you? try this at home because you're gonna waste really good product. <laughs> but okay. what do you see? <laughs> Mira, look, it's so pretty. So what do y'all see? <laughs> Can you tell me what is this? 
What does Me your mind interpret? If you see... Do you see the Virgen? <laughs> en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y de la Tortilla de Taco Cabana. I see Selena. She's doing the washing machine on yours. <laughs> You're so silly. Do you see okay. the nose that Hold on. I... I'm going to try one with some queso. This. Oh, what if we crunch some chips on it? That might be okay. I'm gonna, right, I got I'm you. I'm going to get crazy you. here. Let's smash it. I'm going to get some chippies. Who, who knows? You know what? Taco Cabana, y'all need to start a taco art bar. Let's crunch it like this. Smash it. Now do you see something in my... Oh, look. Mira, look. It's so pretty. Oh, how do you like mine? <laughs> So did you know that Taco Cabana ah. is coming out with an eye cream? It's called anti-aging. It's called crema de ojos. <laughs> and well, let me see what you got though. Did you see anything? Do you see anything? Okay, I see a piñata. I see a cascarone. See, I'm real Mexican. That's like all I think of, like things. You like know that. what's crazy, and I'm gonna <laughs> test it. Can y'all see it? Oh, hers is pretty. I don't know. Yeah, can you see that? Can I mean, see I don't know. What do you guys see? in there. Leave your comments below. We do y'all see any art? I see the United States of America <laughs> and all 50 states are crunched in there. <laughs> By the way, don't forget oh, to vote. Oh man, I could do November 6th. What if, we what if we, about this. what if we get even crazier mm. and like try to make little ojitos in Ooh, this thing? Yes. Crazy so taco do face. A mask. Um, wait, okay. So oh my gosh. This is like, another Taco Cabana story. You buy it right here, fold it in half. Oh, see right I didn't half. know that. How, how did you not know this? And then do a little bite in the middle. And no, that's I know. Como me mira. <laughs> mira, voy a hacer un pecho. Un pecho con tortillas. Mm -hmm. I see. Wait, wait, let me do the mouth. You know what? I bet you this like probably tastes good. I'm going to look like Nacho Libre. It mm -hmm. does. Avocado Boom! chip. Boom! That is like the perfect taco mask. Does this look like Batman? Oh my God, I made Batman. You know what? For I'm real. Gonna save this for Don't one know. lucky winner. Hashtag taco mask. Doesn't it look like a bat? Or like Batman? Come on, girl. That looks like my messy purse. Da, 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 I'm going to save this. Batman. It's just too beautiful. So I think this is, this wins It's like a Jason mask. It, <laughs> it looks like a skeleton at Dia de los Muertos. I'm still eating mine. Oh, like, man. Ooh. That's hilarious. Cool. So again, if you don't eat, if you don't want to come out and eat Taco Cabana, come out and play with Taco Cabana. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. Oh, my God. All right, you guys. That was a ton of fun. We are messy, and I have no napkins. But that's okay. That's how I do. That's how we roll. Um, that's how we, we roll. on Bean and Cheese Mint. That's right. Thanks for watching, you guys. We've had a blast here at Taco Cabana, celebrating the 40th anniversary. We'll see you guys on Friday night. Yes. Over at the party. That's right. Don't forget to share and invite toda la familia. Everyone can come out. It's a family-friendly event, 6 to 9 p.m., Friday, September 21st, at the OG, my favorite, Taco Cabana on San Pedro and Hildebrand. And we're going to be out there from 8 to 9. Yep. And we're super excited. We'll see you guys. And yeah. again, hashtag TC40, hashtag TC Talks. Tell us your story. And again, hashtag, was it Texans for the win? Texans for the win. Follow us on Instagram for the clues on to win the big That's big right. basket. And we will announce the winners. Hasta la mañana. Tomorrow. Hasta la mañana. Yay. Cheers. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Taco, Taco Cabana. Cabana. Estas son las, las mañanitas que cantaron something beats. Oh, oh, la, 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 la. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday to you. Bye, everyone. Have a good night.